Hello. This is a video about a car stereo that I just bought off of eBay. I cannot find like any videos on it. And the, the very few that I did were like in Mexican and did not really show the, the product very well in my opinion. So I'm doing my own video about it. Hopefully this will be helpful to like the one other person that buys one of these stereos. Comes with a remote. Uh, and a cardboard box. Actually, it comes with comes with two remotes. There they are. Uh, packing foam. Connection wires. Uh, if you do buy the stereo, just so you know, you are going to have to splice the ends of the wires off and then wire them together. I'll make a video of me doing that tomorrow. I bought the stereo because my current one has a lot of latency when I use it for Bluetooth. Hopefully, this will fix that. Here's the stereo. It looks very nice. It doesn't come with a sp screen protector actually, which is kind of strange. But, hey, it doesn't really matter all that much. Oh. Uh, it feels very nice actually, this, um, this, uh, this radio has a very good build quality. Hopefully, it works well. Uh, you have a USB audio port, a charging port, an aux port. Uh, you have Bluetooth, radio, and uh, aux. You can't play videos on this, of course. Um, I got it for about $25. Um, yeah, you can receive calls and use Siri, use Siri with it. It does have a microphone, so you can um, use that if you want to, I suppose. Uh, yeah. I will see you when I install this uh, sometime in the future. Okay, I forgot one thing. Uh, I'm going to now show the manual in case there's any information you can't find about it online. Pause if you need to read for longer.
Okay, so it actually does come with a screen protector. As you can see, it's much more shiny now. But uh, I'm now going to give the dimensions. The very front is seven and three eighths. The back is seven inches. Uh, the side of the front is two and a quarter. And the side of the back is one and, one and 15 sixteenths. That should be all that matters. Uh, I will see you guys again when I have this installed. Hello. Um, I forgot to record myself splicing the wires together, but honestly, it's like really boring, and uh, all it is is just connect the, the colors together. So, like, you see all the colors down there? Connect them to the colors that are already in your car. Uh, the radio is working right now. Uh, if you want to turn it on, you just press the power button, and it'll automatically switch to, uh, it'll automatically switch to radio, or whatever you left it on. Uh, press the power button again to switch to Bluetooth. Sorry about that, I had my camera cut out for some reason, but, um, yeah, you press the power button to switch between modes. Uh, the Bluetooth latency, uh is very good actually like um when you press pause it uh pauses it but for some reason if you leave it for a while and then press play it will lag for about one second it has a, about one second bluetooth latency i do not know why it might just be mine but um yeah uh this big knob is for controlling the volume, of course. Uh, if you press the knob, you can tune bass, treble, uh, I don't remember what this does, but there's, it should be in the manual that I showed to you in the last clip. This, actually I don't remember what most of those do, but it does have an equalize, equalizing settings. Yeah, that's about it. It's, it works well. It's, oh, also, if you uh, if you plug your phone into there, the uh, the USB audio port, it won't work because it's it's for uh, USBs. It's for like a USB stick with audio file with audio files on it, not for a uh, phone. So if you plug your phone into the uh, audio USB, it will not work. Uh, it will still charge your phone, though. Both both USB ports still charge your phone. Uh, I've not tested SD card reading yet, but everything has worked so far. Uh, that's about it. Goodbye. A couple more things I forgot to mention. Uh, it does turn on when you start up the car, so, let's see, uh, the time is kept in military time for some reason, and I do not know how to change it, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird, uh, here, let's put, for some reason, every time it, uh, every time it, uh, one second, every time it switches to Bluetooth, it cuts out my camera, I don't know, I don't know why, but, uh, as you can see, the radio works. You turn it up or down if you want to. You can reduce the bass or take it away or add more. Same with the triple. So, those do work. 
I believe that's the equalizer. Like it keeps it keeps everything at the same level, I believe. But um yeah. You press the skip ahead button to uh, search for channels. Uh if you I don't know why it does that. But if you double press and hold, it should skip ahead to a specific channel you want. So there. Uh the radio does work. I can't show you Bluetooth because uh it cuts my actually here, let me try something. Okay, so I'm using my brother's phone to record so I can show you guys the Bluetooth function. Uh, here. Hold on, that's weird. Let me turn it up. Okay. So, as you can see, there is a little bit of latency. Uh, here, let me press play. As you can see, there is a little bit of latency on the playing. But here, let's get going. If I pause it and then play it immediately, it doesn't have a lot of latency. See? So I don't know why, but if you pause it and then leave it for a second, and then play, it has a little bit of latency. So... There's that, Bluetooth works. Uh, that's about all, you, that, that's about it. Um, I hope this helped uh, any, anyone trying to buy this radio. So, see you.